Good morning, good life, everyone. Welcome back to Amy TV, where we come together to help you go after the life you want. I recently asked you on my Instagram what you wanted to know from me, some ideas for videos that we could do here, and one of the things I saw quite a bit of questions about is how I take care of my skin. You know I'm obsessed, right? So today I'm gonna share some things, including my skincare regimen and other things I do to keep looking as fresh as possible. Whew, here's hoping. <laughs> Something I might be a little bit more passionate about than calendar blocking and productivity is my skincare. It's so healthy, it's kind of unhealthy. Since I have a couple things that I do on a regular basis to keep my fresh face forward, I thought I would share them with you today. Before we nerd out on some skincare, you know what time it is, I've got to share some Twitter gratitude. And today I wanna to shine a light on Kristen McKenzie. Kristen, thank you so much for watching these videos. I acknowledge you, I appreciate you, and I just love a good retweet, and you did that for me, so thank you. And if you would like a chance for a little shout out here on the show, all you have to do is follow me on Twitter and retweet my latest video when it comes out. Let's dive right in here. I don't wanna waste any time. When it comes to my skin, we've gotta have the foundation. You can't just go to some specialist and be like, fix me up. If you're not doing the things you need to do on a daily basis to have the skin you want. The life I want, the skin I want. The skin I want has a lot to do with the life I want. I am really obsessed. I have both a morning and evening skincare routine. I've actually done a video about this in the past, so I'm gonna kinda let that explain the details of those things. I will say this, I think um, there were probably some questions about the products that I bought and some other products that I might recommend that might be a little bit more affordable. Here is my personal recommendation when it comes to skincare. You want to spend your money a little bit more on skin versus makeup. Makeup, you can save money. Makeup is literally dirt that you're putting on your face. Yes, they put all kinds of fancy things and lotions and moisturizers and youth crap in makeup to make it even better, which is awesome, but you're still putting something on your face that clogs your pores. You could save a little bit of money on the makeup side if you really invest on the stuff that is going to make the difference with your face. You really wanna have a good cleanser, a toner, um, an exfoliator, however you decide to do that. Moisturizer, moisturizer, moisturizer. I definitely recommend the night cream, which is more intense moisturizing at night, and you must, must wear eye cream, okay? And you don't rub it in, okay? If you don't want things to happen to your under eyes, you don't rub there, ever, ever, ever. It's just a tap, it's a light tap. It's a light tap, very little product, it's a light tap. And I do that twice a day. I don't even know if you have to do eye cream twice a day. I don't care, I do it twice a day. Kind of to do with skincare regimen, kinda not, kinda just periodic, kinda not, kind of a appointment basis, kinda not, is exfoliating. I'm actually not a great weekly exfoliator. I use like the same cleanser all the time and whatever. But when I know I need some exfoliation, which is basically removing the dead skin cells from your face as much as you yourself can, I tend to use pretty intense products for that. So what I like is the Dr. Dennis Gross peel pads. They have two different grades of those. So you might want to start light before you get crazy. And I don't think you should use them every day. Although he does say you can use them every day. They're safe enough. You really don't need to use them every day, but they're a great exfoliating opportunity there. This is the most important thing that you will do. This thing that I'm about to say right now, other than washing your face, please wash your face every single night, get the dirt off your face every single night, at minimum, wash your face, moisturize, fine. But this, during the day, the most important thing you're gonna do, the most, sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen. I'm wearing sunscreen, I got lights on me. I've got a light on me when my computer's looking at me, which I'm looking at all the time. I got sunscreen on when I wake up at five o'clock in the morning. I've got sunscreen on when I'm going out at night. I have sunscreen on when it's snowing outside. I have sunscreen on all the time. The UV rays from the sun and the lights that are coming into our life are absolutely affecting how your face is aging. You've got to wear sunscreen. And also, if you still are a tanning booth person, we got problems, okay? Stop it, just stop it. I have a massive, sunspot on my face. I use a lot of makeup to cover it up and sometimes I'm not successful and you've probably seen it. You've probably seen it on my Instagram stories. I have invested a lot of money at the dermatologist to get this thing removed and it's still there. It is going to take a lot more 
to get it removed and very, very delicate work to get it removed all because I got a little bit too much sun in my early twenties. Okay. So please stop, stop with the sun. Okay. Cause you're going to really regret it later. I swear to you, if you are in your early twenties right now or younger and you're watching me for some reason, just please, I did not wake up like this sunscreen. Okay. Facials, 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 facials are so important. I know it's hard for people to get in and get a facial on a regular basis. If you go once a year, that's better than a lot of people, but this is the opportunity for somebody to extract the things and exfoliate the things that you can't do with product on your own and, and in a good way, in a really big way. I personally try to go every six weeks and that's because I get a kind of a special kind of facial now that I'm a little bit hooked on, which is weird. I'll tell you that in a second, but if you're at least going quarterly, you're in really good shape shape. If you're going on a regular basis and that's just completely up to you twice a year, once a year, then you're in pretty good shape, but you've got to go see an esthetician to really take care of your skin and not just bank on the fact that you bought the right products at home and everything's hunky dory. It's always good to get another opinion and have somebody really start you fresh. I've always gotten microdermabrasion facials, but they're not my favorite anymore because I started to read about the fact that you don't necessarily need um, such abrasive. It's not abrasive. It's not, it's actually felt great when I was doing it, but you don't need such harsh exfoliation. You can exfoliate in other ways. So I just decided I didn't want to do it anymore. I don't want to risk pulling at skin that I didn't need to. But now I've decided that I love dermaplaning, which essentially means I get my face shaved. But it's so weird because like that whole myth that everybody tells you that your hair is going to grow back darker and weirder and curlier. I don't know what they say. It's not true. It's like the most amazing primer for makeup that you could ever have is dermaplaning. Not recommended if you haven't been doing facials, okay? I've been going, getting facials for a while. It doesn't freak me out when somebody does extractions on my face and they're poking and prodding. I know they're doing the right thing. You might wanna start working your way toward the dermaplane. But if you frequently go get facials, I would look into dermaplaning just to see if this is a really great opportunity for you as well. My makeup has gone on even more flawlessly with all of the skincare I do and all of the care that I do, but with the dermaplaning that I've been doing. You do have to keep up with it, obviously, but I love it. For my frequent flyers out there, you really gotta work hard like me to take care of your skin because as soon as you step foot on a plane, they are just taking moisture away from your life. You've got to hydrate, you've got to drink a lot of water, drink a lot of water, drink a lot of water. That's just pretty much a tip for everyone, but I left that one out because I wasn't trying to be cheap on you with this video. But drink a lot of water when you're on plane specifically, and then pull out your sheet mask. You should have seen me on my flight to London. I was like, thank you for the glass of champagne, good night, and I had already washed my face, I put a sheet mask on, I put my eye mask on, and I put my eye pads on, so like little um, sort of like eye depuffer pads. I had the whole thing on for my entire flight to London, which is probably not wise, you're supposed to take all these things off after about 20, 30 minutes, but I didn't care. I was, I want my face to suck up any and all moisture possible and I'm gonna sleep while it's happening. That's a little extreme, but I do think that sheet masks and iPads and all of those things, not not iPads, but like iPads, that you can, I can link to them below. They're super helpful for that stuff and when you need some extra moisture, especially when you travel or if you live in like a dry climate, whatever the case may be, you should totally incorporate that whenever you can. I'm not as big of a paint on masker type of person. Certainly wouldn't do that on a plane. That would be really messy. But even at home, I'm not so much. Um, not that I don't have them. I do. I experiment with them every once in a while, but I just love a sheet mask. Put it on, take it off, done, absorbs, love it. This is my sun shield. This is what I take on vacation with me. I was the talk of the town when I went to Aruba with this thing. This is so amazing for blocking additional sun. So if you go on vacation, you're really trying to take care of your skin, you're hiding under the umbrella, you're reapplying sunscreen and you just wanna go the extra mile, Bluestone Sun Shields, this they did gift this to me. It was a, I totally forgot to mention that. They gifted this to me, but I'm not just promoting them. This saved my life in Aruba because like I said, I was doing a lot of procedures uh, that I wanted to get sunspots removed. So adding sun to my face was a really bad idea at the time. So I needed extra measures to protect myself while I was on vacation. And this is phenomenal. My husband was calling me a stormtrooper. Maybe it looks like a welding mask. I don't care. I still have pristine skin. I'm not burning it with the sun. I can enjoy the beach and not get a suntan. And finally, find a dermatologist that you 
trust. It is so amazing to be able to go to a doctor and nerd out about skin because I'm like, oh my God, I feel like they get me. And they have like the biggest degree ever in this. I love it. I love asking her questions. I love trying new things. I love stepping it up a notch if I feel like I need to be doing a little bit better. And I love when someone tells me, take it down a notch, Amy. You're doing too much. All of the above has happened. No matter what you do in your life, no matter what life you want, no matter if you make videos or not, or post Instagram photos, or just wanna feel good about yourself, you want to lead with your skin and not just plaster a bunch of stuff on your face and cover it up. You gotta be you, you gotta show you, and taking care of your skin is a great way to feel really positive about that. These are what I do to make myself feel good about it, and hopefully they're helpful for you as well. If so, here's a little tweetable. If you need confidence, optimism, and ambition to face the world for a lifetime. Start simply by washing your face. I want to hear from you. What are your skincare tips? Share them with me. You know, I nerd out over this. I've said nerd out 8,000 times in this video because it quite literally is the thing I nerd out on. I'm way too passionate about this. Can you tell? Please share all your tips below. That's all for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it as always. Make sure you remember to subscribe for good vibes, kiss the ones you love, and go after the life you want. Cheers.